Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring Sidum Golden Glow or the Sidum Lime Gold. So locally, itong succulent na to is known as the Benguet California Sunset although kasi yung California Sunset is the only Adolfi hybrid na talagang nagpo-turn into a reddish color but itong ating golden glow just remains to have this lime na color and yung kanyang leaf margins tends to turn color orange pag talagang na stress siya. For its light requirements, it's important na we will be placing it in an area kung saan makaka-receive nga siya ng sufficient sunlight and itong ating sedum lime gold or the golden glow is currently in a hanging planter and so nakalagay nga siya sa isang area where it receives direct sunlight every morning then by the time na naging lunchtime or bandang tanghali and late afternoon filtered sunlight na yung kanyang nare-receive so it's very important na makareceive siya ng enough sunlight para hindi siya mag ethiolate kasi once naging leggy siya hindi na siya ganun kagandang tignan especially na this succulent is a trailing one diba? mas maganda na magkakadikit yung kanyang leaves as it trail so sa ngayon medyo nakikita na nga natin yung pagka orange nung kanyang leaf margins hindi pa ganun ka intense but kahit papano nakikita nga natin yung parang orange na color and of course the color yellow that's the reason why it's also known as the golden glow kasi it literally glows under full sunlight. For its watering, it's important to remember na we should only water it pag nag-completely dry na nga yung kanyang potting mix to avoid overwatering. So dito sa area kung saan nga siya nakahang, hindi talaga siya nababasa ng ulan kasi there is like a roofing dito sa area na ito and so what I usually do pag nagdry na nga yung kanyang potting mix like what we are seeing right now talagang manually ko siyang dinidiligan if walang rain water so syempre ngayon na medyo tag ulan na hindi ko na to ginago and I just literally hang this in an area kung saan siya mauulanan for its propagation naman itong succulent na to literally produces offsets on its own and sobrang dami niyang mag-produce ng offsets. So right now, we have a lot of offsets sa pinaka-center and even if yung mga areas kung saan natanggal yung leaves, talagang may tumutubong offsets. And so, syempre, if you wanted to propagate this one, we can simply remove a leaf and then itong leaf na to pwede na natin siyang itanim or ilagay sa ating potting mix or somewhere until it will produce its own offsets Lastly, for its grooming and maintenance, we just simply need to remove or get rid of those unwanted plants growing in its pot. Especially ngayon na tag-ulan, mas mabilis na lumaki and tumubo itong mga wild plants na ayan. So, we have to remove them as early as now kasi pag lumaki sila, mas mahirapan tayong tanggalin or i-uproot sila. Another thing that we have to check is some so, if you have watched my video about the succulent, so nung una ko siyang binili, I literally soaked it overnight sa isang insecticide solution and sobrang dami ngang lumabas na hidden pest coming from its soil. So, it's very important na maglagay tayo ng systemic insecticide from time to time and syempre, hindi rin natin kakalimutan na mag-apply ng systemic fungicide just to keep it fungus or fungal free kasi itong mga sedums they are very prone sa powdery mildew 
And I guess that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.